Yo, 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 I am live. Am I live? I am live. Okay, cool. Things are all good, as the kids say. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, okay, time for keyboard chores. Hi, friends. Hey, Mr. Keeves, Lewis, Cypher, NV, and One Save Gaming. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Uh, let me know if the music's too loud or soft. Um, hello, Pixel Quick. I'm uh, just. I'm still setting it up right now, so I'm gonna be posting this on uh, the Reddit's right now. Uh, let's see. Need to change to the proper account because I always forget to do that. Haha. <laughs> Submit a text post. How is everyone doing today, by the way? Uh, title is Top Clack Keyboard Chores 526-2018 Live with Interests. Join now. Check out the sponsor gift, by the way, guys. Tuning and fixing some keyboards. Live at noon PT. Link. Ooh, keyboard chores. Today's a, today's a good time. Today's a good time. Should get paid for all these chores. I wish I do it because sometimes things have to be done, you know what I'm saying? You know what I am saying? Okay. Link is posted. Feel free to give me an upvote if you want. Or to spread it with your friends who might have not seen. Um, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's posted on the uh, on the Discord arena. Um, yeah. Let me, uh, let me get ready for y'all. I have a few things to work on today. Should be a good time. What's on the chopping block today? That's a great question, Albert. I have a few things. One of them involves this Chewy 60. How much did you solder a board? Uh, I don't know. Super cheap. PM me if you're serious about wanting me to desolder a board for you. But it's pretty cheap. Most expensive part would be paying for shipping to and from me. As it is with most people in their services. Hello, hello, hello. We got some people joining in. Feel free to check out. Uh, feel free to upload the Reddit post if you haven't. Um, that'd be awesome. But thank you everyone for joining so far. How's everyone doing today? Okay, we got droid eggs. We got prep up. We got 11.22.27. We got Canadian frostbite. We got lunar sama. Kino's up here. Good beans. What if you drive up to Fresno? Hey, if you drive up to Fresno, I'll desolder a board for you. Um, just super cheap. Kakazon. I guess I'm I'm on early enough for some Europeans to stop by and say hi. That was the hope of doing this at noon at my time. Oh, what up, Janglad's here? Well, wow, yeah, cool, cool. I guess I should get started with what I've, I have to do. What's on the menu? Great question. Um, it's good news, everyone. If you look at the sponsor GIF, it's fixed. It has a transparency behind it, um, which is awesome. So now I'm just displaying the logos as provided to me. Yes, Z Frontier does have that black background behind their logo. That's just how they have it. But look, the Zeal, the Zeal GIF, the Zeal beginning one, doesn't doesn't mess up the whole stream. Perfect, perfect. So I'm happy about that. So now we can display our our logos, sponsor logos prominently. 
yeah, I know this is kind of approaching late for Europe, but hopefully not too late for y'all. Mm, things to do. Okay, I have a few things to do. I'll lay it on the table for y'all. Only 9 p.m. over there. Okay, cool. Not too bad then. I think it's like 8 in London. So as you go through Europe, it's going to go later and later and later, but hopefully not too bad. So I got this TX60. I'm going to revisit some switches with some lube. I'm going to fine-tune it. Um, I got this Chewy 60. I have a diode to reverse because the factory messed up a diode. Um, what else do I have? 9 p.m. in Poland. Okay, this doesn't look like it's too late. And Saturday, so cool. I got this board that I need to fix. Like it just it just broke today. I think it stopped USB stopped responding. I have no clue why, so I'm going to investigate this. Um, worst case scenario, I'll desolder the whole thing if I can't salvage oops, sorry, uh, the PCB. So those are my different options I have of things to do today. So we'll see how these things go. Why are you mismatching all caps with the cases? Um, this one I did because it drove people crazy because I have the CTRL on this side and I have the control on this side because uh, reasons. This one is just because people wanted to see this actually. I let people vote on my streams on what, what key sets they want me to put on my keyboards and I build them and people were like, we want to see that TA. You sound like I am sick. I am not sick. I actually lost my voice yesterday from uh, reasons. Just turn my fan next to me so I'm going to be able to breathe. So these are the things I'm going to be working on today. I'm going to start with the Chewy 60 first because if all goes according to plan, it's going to be a really, really easy fix. Yeah. Chewy 60 got it for review. Polycarbonate bottom, the smallest and thinnest brass weight you've ever seen in the world. Um, we get the job done. Thanks, I hope I get better too. What the heck? Where is my. Oh, there it is. Okay. Got my bits. Got my screwdriver. Let's get started, everyone. Let's get right into it. Um, so starting first is going to be this Chewy 60. I will have a review on this soon. It's going to be it's one of the next ones in my review queue since I did get it as a review unit, and I do owe them that as you know being so nice. Like so, if, if if people give me things to review that I get to keep, I will review it because it's very nice for them to just straight up give me you know two hundred dollars of keyboard stuff. So this bottom polycarbonate is secured by six Phillips head screws. So let's move these screws out of the way. Let's get my little, my little tray here for magnetic screws. That weight looks like a fridge magnet. Yeah, it looks, it looks, it's pretty, it's pretty. I'll, I'll give you. Let's see if I can find my, is my ruler on the table. No, it's not. I'm going to get you guys a measurement later, though. It's small. Please take off the tag to the bowl. It's triggering. Eh. There's so many things in the bowl, though. So, the thing about the Chewy, I was a little bit iffed about. And this is a prototype. I hope they do fix it for the ones in production. Is So, mine didn't come with feet, but that's kind of like a simple oversight. I have a ton of my own feet I can add on. Um, for rubber feet, but there's no like inserts to like where you put the feet in So eventually these will just fall off um, And as well as I kind of like aim them myself So this one I put like too much on the inside compared to this one, but it still is you know completely steady That's not a big deal, but Still something to take note of Polycarb bottom also has small Phillips head screws securing the weight to the bottom and here is the top mounted plate. The top mounted plate is brass. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
um, six times two is 12 for top and bottom. And there's actually two more on each side that I can secure it in, which I haven't. Mostly because they only provided me four screws and I provided the rest of the screws myself. So the issue is this diode right here is reversed. So the first thing I got to do is reverse this diode. That is what I was told by Senin of W Studios that the factory did that one incorrectly. So I am going to take an attempt at fixing that. Um, I only have basically normal soldering tools, but that's okay. I'm going to make it work because I'm awesome. So I'm going to start off by taking up my soldering equipment. Everyone should caught one of those screwdrivers, Joseph. Not just you. It's great. They're kind of pricey, though, to be perfectly honest. In case I need to do anything with stabs, I'll grab that as well. And let's grab this power cable. Yeah, so you're looking for the screwdriver. Get the new ES-121, which is the replacement for this older ES-120. It's like a straight up replacement, so just looking for the ES-121. Um, this one also has, a, has um, four torque modes, torque mode one, two, and three, as well as an auto torque mode. Um, it's pretty cool because like, it's kind of like, it does it based on, so if I, turn it on and move it slowly it'll screw slowly but if I go quickly it goes quickly so it's a good way to uh I don't know if you guys can hear the motor spinning and slowing but it's a good way to make sure you don't over over torque anything because damaging screws is no fun plug in my soldering iron Move my camera. Sorry, sorry. So close. Oh, yeah. So for my soldering iron, I use a uh, TS-100, TS um, which I absolutely love because it is very, very portable, very, very manageable, and frankly, amazing. How well does the torque mode work? It works really well, and the whole screwdriver is actually open source. You can plug it in at micro USB and like, program your own custom torque curves if you're crazy um, ah. uh, Pluto yes the extra long bits are from the Nanch sets see this one just the angle that I want to touch the heat okay it's gonna be a good angle cool beans so I have a strategy of doing this obviously this isn't the most fine tip thing in the world um, and that's a very small SMD diode. So my strategy is going to be heating up one side and then picking that side up with tweezers. And then while I'm holding that side, I'm going to switch to heat up the other side so I can lift off the rests. So, uh, Mr. Key, which for the soldering iron, my DC adapter came, my, my, yeah, my power supply came with the, uh, came with my desoldering iron for the included price. There's a lot of bundles on Amazon, as said. Uh, Pluto, I have not made my gear list video yet. It's still going to be a work in progress. Um, yes, we will have it, as you said, on the wiki that we are working on when it is ready. Will this be a sufficient size to pick that up? Yes, I believe in it.
glare. So it's so rare that I do streams during the daytime. Used to the glare. The heat fast is heating up, everyone. Are we ready to go? If you're curious, if it did actually heat up that fast, the answer is. Yep. My camera UI is showing. Yeah, I can't actually do anything with the camera UI not showing, unless I straight up like put it in record mode, which still would show something, um, because it's only giving me a live preview of the screen. So. Yeah, I'm only using a 19 volt adapter, and this one goes even higher. You can get a higher one. Okay, so let's let's try to make this happen. We're, I just had those pliers. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I'm using gonna do the right switch. It's gonna be this one, right? This one. It has to be that one then. Okay. If I could get rid of the overlay from my camera UI, oh that'd be amazing, right? Um, I it goes away automatically if I don't like touch anything or focus it. But when I like refocus it, it pops back up. What happens? I lifted it slightly. I'm gonna try to go back to. I'm gonna go to the other side now. Got it. Got it. So now I need to physically re re reverse it. So I know right, right, which way it's going to go when uh, we solder it in. Sorry, it's like blocking the way. This is really small. Like, man, I wish I wasn't as blind as I am. Actually, I'm not that blind. I can see pretty well, but still. Okay. So, best case scenario, the switch will work now. Worst case scenario, it still doesn't work. So, uh, I'll catch up with the chat after I tackle this. Nope. Not what I wanted. Okay. Did this work? Looks really messy actually. Let me see if it works. So this PCB is a USB C. I don't want to show you guys the the solder in God it looks so messy. So these are surface mount diodes which are a pain in the ass. If these are through hole, if these are through hole, that'd be the easiest thing in the world. 
Mental trauma. Yep, all my LEDs will work. So if I did. Do I have that key, key assigned as anything? Uh, download. Aqua key tests. Hmm, nope, not yet. Oh, that means I just gotta keep trying, right? Okay, well, it's chat saying. Sorry, soldering dials are a humbug. Might might not want to pick up. AEK64 dials are fine. Those are through hole. Those are no look different than soldering switches. So if you can solder switches, you can solder the diodes in those. That's no problem. Um, ID on song. I got you, my dude. Yeah, DQ, this is a split space where I got from uh, W Studios, the Chewy 60. Hello, Master Sinistra. Da, 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 da. Let's try this again. Maybe it'll work this time. Oops. Nope. Nope. Oops, shit, what did I do? I just typed something in randomly. Oh, we're starting the song from the beginning. Master Sinister in the house? What up, what up, what up? Let's keep trying to fix this diode who is being a pain in the butt. Still nothing, huh? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, everyone. I'll try doing a through hole diode then. Of the old solder. So maybe if I can do it if I have a clean surface. Ah! Blinding myself! The only replacement diodes I have are through hole, which I could technically work with by surface solder the pin um, 
to the surface mount. What cable is that, Huey? The black one. I'm talking about this, uh, this thick, thick coily USB-C one. It's uh, I don't know. It doesn't really have a name. It's just a thick coiled USB-C cable. It doesn't have quick charge or USB-3. It has USB 2.1 capability. So like, I can transfer data from my phone, but I won't quick charge my phone. It'll normal charge my phone. But it's great for keyboard though, because you know it looks cool. And it's also available in a uh, white and gray, I believe. Yeah, it's the uh, KR Public one, I think. Uh, let's go to...
or fold it up among itself. And I'm good. I'm gonna trim the legs out because that's gonna look nice. Oh, thank goodness. And that's why I got these out. <laughs> First, I will take out that extra excess solder. Ooh, feels feels good, everyone. Someone someone call Mech Merlin and tell him I found a way to make it work. So this north, perfect. Ooh, I'm so happy I got that to work. Cool. Cool. So what's everyone else what's everyone doing on their Saturday afternoons or their Saturday nights, depending on where you are in the world? Because it's Saturday. Yay! You know what I'm saying? What are y'all up to? When I can leave and read my own feelings, what good are words when it's not to spread it all? And if this world won't bring me an ending, what will it take just for me to have it all? Lubing and filming retold blocks, writing an essay on how deep fakes would affect video evidence in the future. Oof. Does my pen only write better words for those who are here to me? I wonder if I can just like have it placed on the edge. Working on another Ergox layer iteration and looking for a teensy to use with this Apple Extended 2. This. Some diode bending should get that TS100. Yeah, not a bad, not a bad decision. Not a bad decision, if I say so myself. Woo! <laughs> diode, please. So I'm not the most experienced diode bender in the world. I'm not gonna. I won't, I won't say I'm the best at the diode bending, but I'd like to think this will work all right. Got some yard work going on. Okay, you know, have a nice cold beer while you're doing the yard work. It'll be good. Ooh, bam. Like that. So I have the diode there. I have the pins curled. So it's going to fit flush onto the PCB. This is going to be perfect, everyone. Perfecto. Solder bonded that. Yes, 
Oh my goodness. Let me give you guys, let me give you guys a close up of what I did, okay? A close up. I'm sorry you guys have to look at that, but uh, that's what it is, and it works. So, take a picture of that for uh, Mac Merlin, so, because he has some PCs that don't work. But yeah, I mean, yikes. Hey, if it works, girl, I'll take it. Okay, one, one repair down today. Things are going good. One repair down, and we're only 40 minutes in. Only 40 minutes in. It works, I can do, I can now continue doing a full proper review of that board. I'm really happy about. Another funny thing I realized about this, there's no front or back. I mean, there's no like, this way. Oops, zoom out. There's no this way, versus this way, you know? Oh no, I have a scratch on the inside? RIP? How'd that happen? Oh well. Hey, real far far. What is this early stream? It's just me doing a doing a stream on a Saturday, hoping to catch some uh, of our European fans who've been asking us to try to do at least something that was a little more friendly for their time. So I said, you know, if I have keyboard tours today, I, I can do it early. So if I do it early, you know, it's the night time. I believe somewhere around there for most of our European watchers, so makes it just that much more accessible, I hope. Ah, don't lose springs. Or screws. So we're wondering why I got this tape out earlier, it's because I thought I might have needed to tape down the diode while I uh, soldered it, which I probably should have done, it would have looked neater, but you know, it, it, it is how it is. Nine thirty PM over in Sweden. I'm happy this is at a time you can catch. I don't know, I was thinking possibly making noon streams more common. I just dropped screw. Uh, twelve PM Pacific streams more common since it'd be pretty liked by our international watchers, I think. That's done. One keyboard done. Awesome, let's look at the other boards we have. So this one wasn't working earlier. I know. The color scheme is atrocious. This is how it is. So when I plug it in, no USB sound. We'll never... What? It's working? USB device not recognized. What? Yeah, the thing about doing a for me if I did streams at this time, you'd never you guys would never see Brian because Brian's still sleeping. I'll try to direct plug into the computer Reno, but I don't think this will make a difference. USB device not recognized. Huh. Do keyboards get scratched from putting them on those stands? Um they shouldn't. The stands acrylic. Um, and the scratch I had in mind was on the inside, so you can actually can't really even see it from out here. Okay, so that's not working for sure. That's okay. We will oh, solve that. How are you liking the royal boxes? Eh, they're all right. They ate. I need keycap pullers. Figure out what's wrong with this. So, if you're curious, what's the fastest way? To, I don't need to take out GNH keys for this. Well, that's a good habit, anyways. If you want to take out PCBs uh, out of tray mount case for secret vents, really easy. Take out um, your tab caps, right shift, take out your. Um, right and left alt just so you can take your space bar out easier than take out your pipe enter and right shift or if it's uh, 
FN key, that FN key, and then your access to all the screws you need. And I can just do it. In, I actually need a smaller bit now. So let's switch over to a smaller Phillips head to extract these screws. Yeah, this color combo is really hit or miss. I like the, the carbon's interesting. Where's my parts tray? One screw. Two screws. What color 280 did I get for my 280S? I got the uh, blue gray, of course. It's one of the hottest colors on that sheet, so. It's a color that most people don't have, so most people didn't get. Yeah, this color scheme is definitely, uh, definitely a bit odd. I'm, I'm sure. Okay. All the screws out. Now let's move this out of the way. The sword pin in the bottom, by the way. If you're wondering what that was, let's plug it in my hands, free standing. See if it's the case that causes shorts and causes issues, or is it the whole PCB dead? Okay, so the PCB does work now. As far as I can tell, all my LEDs except for one, but that one's been dead anyways, all work. Okay, and then let's see if I go to my aqua key test to show everyone here. Um, let's just go through these right here. Oops, I am not selecting the wrong thing. Let's select the wrong thing. The right thing. Okay, everything is working. Cool. I just made another keycap flip off. That's funny. Wow, that's loose. That's loosey-goosey. You guys see that? You guys see that? This F is ready for the Olympics. High jump Olympics. Keycap Olympics, JT Tox JTK Toxic F on Mod M which is aiming for that gold. Aiming for that gold, okay? And then bottom row, two, three, space, bam, bam, bam. So that means my issue is there's a short between the case and the PCB. If this isn't working when I put it into the Revo 1 case. That means that's the issue. So there's nothing actually wrong with the PCB then. I've just confirmed that. Um, all my function keys work. So, mine's still alive. So fortunately, it means my fix is working on maybe my sorbethane is causing a short, which makes no sense. Uh, maybe something is making contact somewhere. I'm guessing it's this one. Can I see a small scratch here and a small, sc small scratch up that on that support and small scratch down on that support. And if I line up where those would go, anyways, I go what's touching, possibly touching those. Hmm. So I'm just gonna do a easy way, and I'm just gonna cover them up, and see what happens. Electrical tape on the top left screw standoff. Top left on this standoff. I'll make this go away. this standoff is what you're saying yes really I mean it's a screw standoff why would that suddenly cause the short let me see what's around this one oh yeah that's around a lot of stuff and this one's thick there's a there's a bulky there's a bulky boy for a standoff. Okay, you're probably right then. That's probably what causes a lot of it. Um, yeah, I see that. I can understand that. Um, but I like using that standoff. So I have another solution. It's, the, it's called the Huey solution. It's where I, uh, I'm going to put a piece of sorbethane on top of that, but then I'm going to poke the hole through so I can still use that standoff. That's, this is going to be the, uh, the Huey method.
Actually, getting that hole is going to be really annoying to do through Sorbethane. So I'm just going to cover up with Sorbethane, like you suggested. And I'm, let's, let's try this out. Hopefully, that's going to resolve all of our issues. And if this does work, then we'll be in a good place. Thanks for, thank you for the suggestion, by the way. I'm going to definitely try the suggestion first. Uh, I'm going to try everything with it it's tightened in. Because in the real world, it will be tightened in. Because this, this is the real world. Supposedly. Oh crap, I made the sort of thing cover that one up. Shit. Hold on, I need to fix my spacebar sort of thing arena. Thank you so much for subscribing with the tier one sub every little bit helps now do one more screw up top and hopefully this will work and i'll check back in if this continues or tomorrow because when i first oops ah stop it when i first built this it did work for a few days completely fine and then just this just happened i think last night I'm like, I'm going to switch keyboards, like I always do. I switch keyboards a lot. Um, and then it stopped working. Let me see if I can just use a screw to, like, pierce the heavens. You know what I'm saying? And just go through this whole thing. Put this one stand off. Well, that, that, that went through. Sweet. It made penetration. Um, let's plug this in and make sure everything's good to go. Sound good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, let's go to the Aqua Key Test Arena for y'all here, and let's go through it. Oh, we said it actually. Clear. Boop, 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 boop. Just dang F key. Turn my caps lock off. Cool, everything works. Thanks so much for the suggestion. Um, hopefully it continues to work. I'll give you, I'll give everyone an update tomorrow and in a few days as well to confirm that it is good to go. Super Gucci. Um, all good in the hood. If you know what I am saying, I'm saying things from time to time. Geo, I'm sorry this wasn't able to be beneficial for you in any way. Um, I wish you all the best with your, uh, your Pong 60. Because this is also a Pong 60, it just fixed up. ES121, bang good for 90 right now. That is pretty good. So if you're in the market for an electric screwdriver, um, would recommend. I am a big fan. Big fan. Goodbyes are temporary because Might as well swap that key set. Really I can. If you guys want me to swap this and key set, I can do that. I have time. I have the willpower. The option is, what do I switch it to? But the thing is, I can't switch it to KA2017, my pink set, because that's going to be going on the CA66 which will be happening soon. So that's the only caveat. <sighs> Keep it, swap it. It's hard to say, right?
Triumph Royal Alpha is on something. Yeah, the Triumph Royal Alphas. Crazy. Crazy, crazy world. Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks, Frostfire, for checking out my review on the, uh, my TNN 5 Degree Showdown. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, if I had the Frost slash Clear Acrylic 5 Degree, I would have talked about that. Um, maybe in the future. I was thinking maybe in the future doing, like, a, uh, Frosted slash clear case showdown. So there's quite a few in the market. There's the frosted clear five degree. There's a cheap $20 cases. Centrac has a case. There's a few others as well. Clue that isn't TA. Oh, yeah. This, this, this is the original. This is TA as in Triumph Adler. There's also a green set called um, TA Typewriter or Typewriter TA. Well, you guys can decide this. Let's do one, one more fix I have to do. And this one's gonna be a bit more tedious. This one. TX60 with um, MX Xilence. I need to re -lube some switches, revisit it. Touch it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, SCX Freak, you're only seeing purchasable TS100 soldering irons without the power cord. What kind did I get? What is what is recommended? Mine is a 19 volt. Um, mine came with one though, so I'll, not sure. You know, you got your muted in, only bass, but still nice. Heck yeah, the muted set is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A good place to get silent black or silent red stems, a mouse is fine. Um, get the stems alone, not really in any place. But if you want to get some, you know, silent black switches, um, you can get, if you're looking for just a stem, just buy the silent blacks on novel keys. Promo code TALKLACK for 5% off, by the way. Um, pretty good price. Um, the springs are technically the uh, silent red springs and the silent blacks, but since you're only going to be harvesting the stems anyways, that probably doesn't matter. Uh, NGB, I should do some SMD LED work at some point just to show people how it's done. Yeah. Yeah. Switch shop openers. I use my I choose Trebosis lube on this, so I will continue to use more Trebosis lube on this. I'm gonna brush out.
if I can move this out of the way. Move this up. Give you guys a better look at what I'm actually doing. Try this out. Hopefully, this one's going to be much quieter now. Hit one off in here. Much better. Let's go, let's go, you know, chore it up. In hindsight, this is kind of redundant because, like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be desoldering these switches from this board in the future. Um, and that's mostly because I don't actually play these switches that much, to be perfectly honest. Are these my MX Islands? They are my MX Islands. Do I have a TKL worth? Possibly. Okay, now this one's much better now. Think I'm swapping other switches into that anytime soon? Possibly. I need to do bun, B U N. Like one of the things that usually hold me back the most about using this board is these switches. Not that they're bad, they're actually still decent switches, it's just I think 
these islands are a waste on this board. Any switches you're looking forward to trying? Hard? Hard to say. Like, I'll probably keep these on here for now because if I take them off, there's something I'd put them on. And I do want to use them on some boards, right? But. There you go. There we go. Silent Zeal Linears. Yeah, that's. Still waiting for those though. Definitely want to try those out. Ooh, those sound good to me. I wish I could build this with holy pandas to be honest. I think that would be amazing. interest check for any thoughts about GMK paper I haven't seen it yet wanna wanna wanna, wanna hit me up with a link definitely build definitely love to check it out Adams TX84. Um, do you want to enable Adam to buy more figures? Because that's what it comes down to. enabling him you're getting your you're helping him get out of debt
Pristine. I kind of want to get pristine round one, even though it's an off white. Okay, I want to have much better now. What solder do I use? Bees in the trap. I use some good old, good old classic MG Chemicals 6040 solder, um, 22 gauge, which is also 0 0.032 inch diameter, RA flux, 2.2% flux. Yeah, it's 6040. This is, this is the one I use. Okay, next key. What chores being done? Recupero. I'm right now, yeah, touching up MX Silent, uh, touching up my lubing. I also um, worked on two other keyboards earlier, including fixing my Chewy 60 and another um, annoying kind of case. How do you lube Telios? Tried lubing one and made it, and only made it scratchier. What? Sure, scratchier is the right word. Not like more sluggish, but actually scratch here both did you use and where did you lube it?
a tequila shot. Some run of the mill keyboard chores. Like things that are actual chores. And it could be boring to watch because it's sand. Sliders, mid hole thing, and spring. What do you mean you loop the mid hole thing? Like, tip it loop inside of it? hole that goes in the hole mm, usually people don't lube that actually because that can make it feel sluggish because there's no space for the lube once the it's covered by the pole and it'll actually create a suction effect with the uh, the lube that could happen Crytox. Which Crytox? Kilo shots although well, probably probably be okay for stabilizers. I usually I prefer Permatex myself. I know Brian uses super lube and that's just fine for him. Sound definitely odd. So, hmm, a little slower, but not scratchy. Yeah, I don't think it should make it scratchy at all. Um, there might be something issues if it made it scratchy. I'm not sure what that would be, though. One second, everyone. Let me just reset those something's knocking at my door, apparently.
Hello, I am back. Do, 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 do. So, hmm, a little slower, but not scratchy. Yeah, I don't think I should make it scratchy at all. Um, there might be something issues if it made it scratchy. I'm not sure what that would be, though. One second, everyone. Let me just reset this. Someone's knocking at my door, apparently. Hello, I'm back. Do, 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 do. Fortunately, not delivery man. I wish it was delivery man. Although, I'm not sure what I'd be expecting today, if anything. Oh, going through all of these keys. My use. Um, Hermit text, dielectric. Do the I key, I'm making pretty good progress in moving all these switches. Sad music today. Oh, I don't know. This is what's on my playlist right now. I can switch it. Okay, my switch goes in. Here we go. Keycap on. Solid. I'll put happy music on then. I think. Not fine to remember. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm Gucci. I am Gucci. I'm Gucci. No, I'll put on some uh, uh, some 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 cheery music, some dreamy music.
40 question. Colt 45 or Steel Reserve? Um, depends what kind of knight you want to have because that's a very, a very big difference in those 40s. A very big difference in those 40s. Idea on the song? Yes, I have played the song before. I'm gonna give you the idea after I switch in. And no keyboard plugged into what? Here you go, Sir Corbin Dallas. Uh, yes, this is the Champagne TX-60. I share that sound. Uh, which sound? The keyboard or, or the song? the typing sounds on the YouTube channel, um, youtube.com slash c slash top I will, in a bit after I leave a few more switches. few more keys I really have to retouch. Before I do, I'm going to walk my dog, walk the Georgia real quick, so I'll be right back in two to three minutes, everyone. Stay tuned.
Cool, friends. I return with the George. This is Giorgio. He's a kind of weirdo. What's everyone up to? Uh, you're doing a build with retooled MX blocks, carbon fiber or brass plate. Uh, my personal preference would go probably go toward brass for that build. Yeah, so let's get to get to more lubing. Giorgio, do you wanna do you wanna help me lube some switches? We're gonna make everything worse because you're. Shedding. Yeah. Yeah. Me too, George. Me too. Okay, back to Lubin. You good, George. Go for it. You can make the jump. Four. I live you. Favorite vintage switch? Um, easy, beam spring. Done. Yes, Memorial Day weekend. That's real good. is just the best vintage which by far like nothing feels just as amazingly smooth and crisp it has so many great things going on What is everyone's plans for this weekend? For those of you who are in the U.S. who may have extra time off because of Memorial Day. Any any fancy plans? What's that sound? It goes up, upstroke. Well, let's, let's find out. the space for a bit more. Work tonight. Tomorrow camping outside Portland. Ooh, that's nice. That is nice indeed. I think after the stream I'm going on a nice bike ride with Giorgio outside. Tomorrow I have some Dungeons and Dragons to play with some awesome people. Um, play online because it's the internet. Um, and then Monday I have the option of going into work. I haven't decided if I will yet. To the rooftop bar, bar, rooftop bar club in LA this afternoon and night. Tomorrow, pool and barbecue at friends. 
dig in Irvine. Monday family lunch and seeing Solo with a friend that night. Ooh, that sounds like a great time. It's one hell of a packed weekend. Glad to hear you have a lot going on. Crazy world. Crazy steps. Three day weekend long overdue. Probably call in Tuesday. Oof. Going for that four dayer. on the song. I got you, Lunar Sama. Okay, so I've looped quite a few switches. Overall, it's feeling better. Definitely feeling quieter. Ooh, look at that backside. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, everyone. Just look at it. Am I right? Am I right? You know what I'm saying? Butte. Oh, oh, this is a butte. Actually, main keyboard, let me take this fiel away because I gotta switch to the Chewy 60 now for my main keyboard since that's currently on the review queue. So, Pong 60, what up Geo? PS2 AVR boards apparently run hot. Interesting. And shuts off if it gets too hot. You know, water cool your your microcontroller. Is that is that the new is that the new game plan? You seem to have fried. Damn. Oh man, that's that's very unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that. You had really thick foam, so I won't be able to breathe. Also, when the foam is stuck in the MCU. Oh man, so yours basically like fried itself because couldn't even like dissipate anything. There's a theory you're going with after speaking with Jetpack and Sita. That's pretty fair. That's intense, though. I'm just happy I can, like, properly use my Chewy. You know what I'm saying? Game over. 
over. Hmm. Unless you guys really want to watch me like build a piece to keep over a million times. That's for the most part. For the most part, my only uh only keyboard chores so why am I at the time 140. there's always good old Huey Classico here. I'm gonna sort of thing in this in the future. Just because of how much value this keyboard has technically got me from just failing to die. It's ridiculous. Actually, no, I have one more keyboard chore. One more keyboard chore. This. I gotta take I gotta take everything out of the case and I gotta resolve these switches in. These MX retold blacks that have been looped with me. Um so let's take this apart. Finally, I can get rid of this five degree case. Probably giving a giveaway because I kind of feel bad if I sold this to someone. Fan of silverware. It looks nice. Let's take this out. Uh, let's take this away for a second. Let's grab some switches here, but let's take away these real quick, which requires a expert. Hey Zambumon. How are you doing, buddy? What's wrong with the case since you want to get rid of it? Um, I don't think it's particularly good. Early keyboard chores, yes. It is an early keyboard chore. Because it is nice and sunny today and I I want to go outside and get things done outside, so I decided to do keyboard chores early. You know, I could have just done things outside now and done keyboard chores late, but I want to do them early so people who normally can't make the show can at least, you know, see a keyboard chore. In the live. In the person. In the flesh. In the peoples. Okay, switches. Who's the right one? Yes, it is. That's the right one. It is.
Done. Hey Violet, I all I was doing is um just so uh, this is the the board that I use in my five degree build, which as you might have noticed at the end of the build, I had the one uh, U blockers on. So I've taken those one U blockers off and resoldered in the wind key, wind keyless keys. So now I can use this not on a five degree case. That's why. I'm actually going to be using this on a Tina. Yes. I think. Oof. Chinese be fake. Feels good. I need to add a music player for the stream. Yeah, but I use YouTube, so something I'll look to look for look, look for in the future. That's, that's, that's a very good suggestion. A lot of people pointed out to me though. Uh, I have extra lube on my brush. I'm just gonna add extra lube to uh, the space bar because why not? Crunch on that key. Bam. Easy peasy. Lemony squeezy. Skip the song. I've heard it already. Look after the stream and test if it works. I will Zambu. Thanks for thanks for the link. I'm gonna open it right now so I have it handy. A couple times you have been able to find the songs I was playing. Yes, quite a few people have mentioned that to me, so I need to work on that for sure. Together here.
Ooh. <laughs> My window speed's release. You've removed your holy pants and stabs from your dead board. Good for you. One last thing I can possibly do today that I have scheduled is up to audience decision. Do I change the keycaps on this board? Do I change the JTK Toxic off from from the Revo one? Escape key. Let's see how that changes it. No factory loop. That's cool. Almost none. One no and one yes for changing the keycaps. Yeah, interesting. It's more of a dark, deeper sound now it's lubed. Yeah, I know, south facing switches. They're north facing switches, these are. Maybe next keyboard tours, I'll lube this whole board. Probably, they'll probably do it good. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this color scheme. 